So this is a get ready with me. So I'm getting ready to go to church. So I just thought I'd do a little feeling about what I... So I've had a little, few questions. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I do is I like to do my brows first because my brows, to me, set the tone of my face. So um, to just help with my smile lines, I do go in with a little um, concealer first and get that patted down. So I'm going to go in with... Um, my concealer. Now, I don't always use um, I don't always use um, because my skin is dry right now. I have maturing skin. My skin is kind of dry. I don't always go in with um with um, primer on my face um, just because my skin is already so dry uh, and it, I, I just don't use it a lot anymore. I used to, but not anymore. So I just work on my smile lines just a little bit before I get started. And um, I add just a little powder now this is the e.l.f. Um, white powder. I know it's white, but I use it <laughs> um, and I like the way it works on my skin. So I just go in with a little bit and I just tap off the excess of that. And then I just put it on there just to set that concealer. And I just do a very little bit, very little bit. And then um, to cover my dark circles, I do go in with an OG for goodie, which is this little product right here, this Pro Concealer product. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's the Orange Pro Concealer. And I just do, I just spot conceal, just put a little bit under my eyes just to take some of that darkness away. And then um, I just put a little bit on, I'm working on these little dark spots. My skin, since we've had the pandemic, has gone through some changes. Um, I know when I got the shot that um, I had some issues. Let me just say that. So anyway, we're working on that skin. For the most part, my skin is pretty, pretty um, good. It's pretty much clear. I don't really have a lot of wrinkles. Uh, even though I'm over the age of 50. So I think it looks pretty good. So I just do the tiniest bit and then I just pat that in where I need to conceal so that I have a flawless finish. Okay. So while that's sitting, I do my brows. Now I don't like, I don't start off with using a dark, dark pencil. I actually start off using a brown pencil. This is a, a, a brown pencil that I got from Walmart. I think it's, um, I'm not even sure who, oh, this is by uh, Wet n Wow. And I like it. I've used Wet n Wow or the Milani pencil for so long. I, I just, that's, that's just what I use. Um, it's no rhyme or reason, but this is what I use. And I go in and um, I work on my eyebrows. Now, let me get an eyebrow pencil. All right. 
so I brushed, I've already put some um, clear eyebrow gel on my eyebrows. And then I just go in and I use my natural eyebrow line to determine where my eyebrow is going to go. Now, you know your eyebrow should stop right there and right there. For me, I I like uh, my brows to be uh, kind of big because I have a wider face. So I like my, for my eyebrows to be really, really full. Just because my face is wider. And then just remember these brows are sisters. They are not twins. Your brows are your are sisters. They are not twins. So I will deepen those up in just a little bit. in with I love this uh, Maybelline eraser and this is in the color hazelnut now they have changed this number numbering system so I do not know I cannot tell you what the new product number is because they have changed this but if anybody knows, they can just link in the comment below what's the closest one to hazelnut. This is what I use to um, actually um, to define my brows. So, um, or I should say uh, outline them. I'm just about out. So if somebody can tell me what that number is. Uh, please let me know. I just use the tiniest bit of this and I take this uh, flat bl brush. I've had this flat brush forever uh, and I'm not even sure who it's made by anymore, but a brush like this. And then I just kind of carve out to make sure, just kind of clean up my, uh, my brows just a little bit. I like my brows cleaned up. I do not like, um, I like my brows a little cleaned up. I know people love the fluffy brow and I'm not mad with that either, but I like my brows to be a little more defined. So, I just take a small bit of this. I also like that it also adds highlight in my uh, my brow bone. You see, this brow is a little thinner on the end. Than this brow. Yeah, it's a little bit thinner. But that's okay. Hey. Okay. All right. And then I just take it and... Um, Take that product and then I will finish these off once my makeup is done. I'll go in and deepen them, deepen the color, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So now let's get to let's get to this base routine. So I do not like a lot of foundation on my face. Um one of the things that I like to use on my face 
is um, this product right here. This product right here, <laughs> this is a highlighter. I use some type of highlighter under my foundation. This, um, I hope you can see that. Um, this is, <laughs> I actually like this foundation. Uh, this highlighter is made by um, Believe. It's a Believe product. Um, this product is found at Dollar General. I love this um, highlighter. So I just put a couple of pumps on my brush. And then I just dot that in where I want my face to to be highlighted, which is all over, just to give me that lit glow within. Um, and I just press that in there, and then I'm going to put my foundation, use my foundation. So you see that I'm glowing. <laughs> I'm glowing, don't get, don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. I don't put foundation uh, in under my eyes because I'm going to conceal under my eyes. So I don't put foundation there. So this is the foundation that I'm using today. This is the um, L'Oreal Nude uh, foundation, one of their newer foundations. And this is the one that I'll be using today. So I just use a little bit of this. Um, like I said, I, I don't necessarily like this applicator on this. Um, uh, I don't like the way it squeezes out. Um, so I'll just put a little bit on my brush. Okay. Don't come for me. The esthetician police, please. And then I just dot that around my, um, face and then I just tap I just do a tap in motion and then I'll come back with my beauty blender once this is blended so see how that beautiful that looks so beautiful under that highlighter L'Oreal foundation is pretty good normally I go for high-end foundation I feel like foundation is the one thing that um, if you're going to spend money, spend money on foundation. Um, it's really, really important because it, it can make or break you. But this L'Oreal, I've been using it for a minute now and I really like it. Really, really like it. So I do not... Um, like I said, I'll come back in. So I'll take a wet, um, a damp beauty blender and I'll blend that, blend that in. So I'll just dip in my beauty blender and then I'll just press that in to make sure that I got all the coverage that I need for that. And I just press that in. Alright. So you see how that looks? It really looks beautiful. Alright. I'm going to go in with concealer. Now, I love these e.l.f. concealers. I, um, the camo concealers, I don't particularly like a bright, bright highlight under my eyes. So, I go with one that is similar, um, not too light from my skin color because I don't necessarily like uh, 
a bright, bright highlight. And then I just take it right here. And I look at it. Now, I sometimes I will add just a little bit of this uh, lighter fit me color. Just a tad bit. I don't really like a, a bunch of lightener under there. So I sometimes might add just a little bit. And then I like to blend this before I start placing my contour. So I'll go in and, and um, blend this. I'll let this sit a second, but I'll go in and blend it. I'll use a tiny spray on my beauty blender. Now this is just the e.l.f. I like it. So I use the e.l.f. Um, this is the e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set. And I'll just use a little bit of that as I'm blending my uh, contour. And I'll just look up and blend that contour. i just look up and blend that contour. All right. i just look up. Just look up. I'm blending that contour. I'd like to make sure I get it good and blend it. And I like to make sure that that's blended well. So my contour is on. I need just a little, just a little, a little more of that. There we go. That's good. Make sure that your contour is blended before we go in and set. So I like to go in and before I put my um I like to go in and set my contour before I start my uh before I start the um contour that I'm gonna use for my um for contouring my face, I'm sorry. So I just used the tiniest bit of powder because my face is so dry. I just used very little and it's the same e.l.f. white powder that I was used earlier. I don't, um, I just dab a little of this over my um, eyebrows because I do get a uh, creasing in my eyebrows. And we'll dust that off later. But I use the tiniest bit, and that's it, uh, because it it dries my face out. So now I'm gonna use the um, Elf concealer to uh, do my contour. So I start at the ear. You see where my ear is, and I just do a little bit. I contour there. And I draw a line and contour right here. And I just put the tiniest bit. I draw a line right there and a line right there. And that's it. A contour. And I just blend that in. So we're just going to get that blended.
Now, a lot of people use a brush for their contour. I don't. I like to use a beauty blender for my contour. And then before I go any further, I just take my, um, when I, the same brush that I used to put my makeup on and I just make sure that that's pretty well blended the way I like. Okay. And then before I start adding some contour that to that I take this elf this yellow elf, elf powder I don't know if the camera's picking up how yellow that is and I just put a little bit in the top now I have other powders I love Fenty um I love Fenty nutmeg is probably a favorite of mine but I like it's so drying so I'm just gonna go in there and chisel my face out. I've got to get some more of that Fenty because I do like it. It is a, a little bit more mattifying. Okay. And then I'm just going to take a little bit up my nose right there where I'm going to use highlighter and right there. Okay. And then I'm going to use for my um, contour that I just put on my face. I'm going to use a little bit of this product right here. This is the, um, who is this bad? Black Radiance. It's the Black Radiance Compact. And it looks like this in there. And I'm going to use a little bit of the dark. Just a tiny, tiny bit. I don't like a lot of it. I just wanted just, just a tiny bit. And I brushed that off on my napkin. And then I just highlight. I just go over the areas that I use the a cream highlighter on and then I just take this down the sides just to give me some definition right there and that's it that's it and I don't do a lot of this okay all right so and then I come back with the warmer color in the middle there and just do a little bit just do a little bit in fact I need to get another another one of these because I do like it all right now let's get to eyes let's get to these eyes what color am I going to do well let's get some primer on my eyes this is the uh, Juvia's Place um, primer. This is the, I think this is number one. This is shade one, which is really, really light. So you only need the tiniest bit of this. I only put one dot and that's plenty for the Juvia's Place primer. So next I just blend that out. And so I'm just going to blend that out the Juvia's Place Primer. And I like to take this little flat, uh, fat brush. This is, uh, I'm not exactly sure who this brush is by. I've had it a while. And I just go in and dap it, dap, uh, you know, I'm just tapping, using tapping motion. Um, so that my eyeshadow can stick. And I'm just using a tap in motion just like that. And this dries down pretty good. So I don't really have to set it. Excuse me. I don't really have to set that. So that's about all that I use of that. So, excuse me. That tube 
will last you a long time. So I just tap it like that. That's it. That's all. And that's what I use. So let's, I'm going to do a very simple look today because um, I like a pretty nude face and maybe a bold lip. So let's go with, um, let's use the Charlotte Tilbury palette. Let's see if this palette is going to work for me. This is the Charlotte Tilbury palette. My, um, one of my besties, my best friend, um, got this palette for me for Christmas and I, I have enjoyed it. I really, really like it. So let's see if we can, and this is, this is the colors in that palette. They're beautiful. Um, they're really, really pretty. So let's see. So I think I'm gonna start out with this brown color. And I'm just gonna put that in my crease, which looks really dark. I'm just going to tap it in my crease. I'm just going to tap that in my crease. Now, I am not a makeup artist, so this is just what I do. So... I love makeup. I always have. I've always played in it. I love it. But this is just what I do. So, yeah. Just remember that. So, I'm going to soften that up a little bit. And in order to soften that up, I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take a lighter, uh, just a little bit of this, um, this um, third brown color right there. I'm just gonna lighten that up just a little bit. Well, I'm gonna buff it out. Buff that top part out just a little bit. And it adds a little sheen up top. And I'm just gonna buff that out so that it's smoother. All right. And then I'm just going to go in with my finger with this color right here. This color right here. And I'm just going to tap it in there. My lid. And I'll just go in with a flat brush and just clean um, some of that up on my head. So I'll just go in with a little flat brush like this. And just make sure it gets in there. The color. I'm going to let it. Alright. Okay. I'm going to go in with a little bit of this Juvia's Place palette, this gorgeous um, palette. This is the chocolate palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this dark brown shadow right here um, just to put on the ends of my, uh, just to deepen that, that uh, outer part of my eye just a little bit. Just a little bit. And 
just a little bit on that. Okay. There we go. Just go back in and fix it till you have the color. Looks like this color was off just a little. So I just go back in and just make sure I've got enough of that color. And then I'll also use just a tiny bit on my brow bone. Okay, I think that's deep enough right there. And then I'll just go back in with the original just to make sure everything is blended. And I don't really have a bunch of harsh lines. There we go. Okay, now oh, as you can see, it's allergy season and my eye is watering right there. So I will take a Q-tip and just get that water out. I'm not sure where I learned this trick. I think it was Wendy Williams where she was using a Q-tip and I could never, but that actually stops your makeup. I mean, stops you from ruining your makeup if you just use a Q-tip. So allergy season is up on us it's definitely on me so <clears throat> make sure that that is dried down uh pretty good before i add any liner so i'm just gonna do um i'm gonna take this um kat von d liner um, it's pretty black for me, so I'm going to take this Kat Von D liner and I'm going to just line, I'm just going to do a baby wing. I, I don't necessarily do, a, a huge wing, uh, just because I don't know how to, and that's okay, because you don't have to do a big wing. You really don't. You just do a baby wing. So that's what I do is a baby wing because I don't know how to do a big wing and I need to practice on it. But unfortunately, I haven't been able to get it, so if you all have any tips on doing big wings, please put it in the comments below. And I will just go in and clean that up on the side to make that wing out a little more. take my concealer brush and go in and just clean that up just a tiny bit. And then I will take a um, I like this Maybelline black liner and I will just get in the waterline to make sure my eye is lined 
Just get in that waterline where that little space is right there by my wing. And just line that. Now, if you make a mistake like that, like I just did right there on the side of my face, you just wait till that dries and then we'll take a little Q-tip and fix it. So you just take a little Q-tip and it'll come off. And I'll just take a little Q-tip and get that off or you can leave it as a beauty mold. So now, because I have um, my water line is giving me so much trouble, I do not put anything down there when I have allergies like this. When my allergies are acting up so bad, I do not put anything on my bottom line. And... Uh, Because my allergies are acting up. So. Okay. I will fix this in just a minute. So now. My eyes have enough wings. So I will just sometimes take this little and do the slightest on the bottom right there. That's it. Because my allergies are acting up and I don't want to have a raccoon face. So. That's it. Now I'm going to go in and darken my eyebrows. So in order to do that, I use this NYX Cosmetic, this little fine tip black pen. Um, and I go in and I just flick these eyebrows. I just use this to flick, to fill in my any spaces that I have left and just to darken up the outer portion of my eyebrow. So I just take it like that and I just use that to darken up the outer portion of my eyebrow. And that's about it. And then I will take this e.l.f. eyebrow gel in dark brown, and then I just do the inner part. It makes it too, too dark for me. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to swipe some of this powder away that, that's been sitting on my face. So I love this um, NYX NYX foundation powder. And I just dab it just like that on my brush. And then I just start swiping this color away because I don't really like to set a lot like that because I don't like uh, that line. But we can get rid of that when we... Um, when we go in and um, set up, set everything. So that's way too much bacon for me. So I just go in and kind of dab, dab, dab. And set that powder. Now I'm going to add a little blush. This is one of the cream blushes. I just take my brush and I just, I'm not a big, big blush girl. I do add a little blush, but not a lot because I'm I, I'm just not a big blush girl. And I just add a little flush of blush. And then I just take my blender, my beauty blender, and just put some, um, 
put some setting spray on it. And then I just tap, tap, tap to make sure everything is blended well. That's the only thing I want to make sure that my face is blended well. And then I will go in and spray it. This is before I put my mascara on because I don't want my mascara to be ruined. So I spray my face. Before I use my mascara, I spray my face. And then I put highlighter on afterwards. So that's pretty much very simple face. So I'm going to spray my face. And this is the Morphe uh, Continuous Mist Spray. So I'm going to spray my face. Make sure I get my face all sprayed. And I let that dry down. I gotta get a little fan to uh, help that. I close this powder up pretty quickly because this powder is very fine. Um, it's finely milled. That's why I like it. And um, some powders are too, um, they don't have, a, the color is not quite right. Now I do like the Benai powders. Um, let me get that off my face. Uh, gonna have to take some. Not sure what that is right there. I got something on my face. That looks like powder. gonna take a little of this same contour palette and I use the middle one and I just get it on my brush and then I contour my nose what this is I did not get that off my face let me go in and fix that all right okay let me go and clean that up okay and then I love this um master chrome highlighter I just go in with a tiny bit of that this is uh, i need a new one okay let's just say that and i just highlight where i want a little more highlight and i like highlighting my cupid's bow I don't know, you can never too, have too much highlighter to me. But, you know, some people don't like it, but I do. And then I will just take that and just use the end of my, the butt of my BB blender. And just make sure the highlight is in there after I spray my face. Now I'm going to use mascara. Now I have been loving this mascara from um, Essence for my lashes. This right here is the truth now. Now um, you, this is pretty good. And so I'm just going to take a little pinkish my inner water just to make that stand out just a little bit so any pinkish or nude um, color you have 
be just fine. I'm going to, now I'm going to uh, put my mascara on. Mm. So I use quite a few coats of this. So I wiggle, I start from the bottom and I just wiggle my way up on this mascara and uh, I just use a couple of coats of this mascara. I think it's time for me to get a new one. So I just do the top because my allergies are acting up so bad. So I don't want to put any glue or anything, any false mess, falsies on. So I just put a couple of coats of this mascara on for my lashes because I, my eyes just can't take it today. My eyes just cannot take it. So you can get all those separated. And then I like to go on the top as well as the bottom. So just be careful with this part when you're doing that to make them look like I got false lashes on. I just go on the top on these as well. And it just And there we go. Now for the lips. I love, love, love. I love these matte inks. Um, by Maybelline. They are the truth. And then I just line my lips with this brown color. And then I'm going to take the red in this time. That ain't super stay. And I just tap it, tap, tap. And then I just take a little bit of the highlighter that we used. Mm right there light on my cupid's bow and ladies that's it that's it and the last and final thing that I do 
just to make sure everything is seamless, I take my powder puff. I take my powder puff in the same um, foundation color from the NYX and I just press that in just a little bit and then I just do this. Just to make sure I use the tiniest bit just to make sure everything is again seamless and stays and it's just a beautiful, beautiful canvas. That's all I do. That's it. That's it. And that's it for me, ladies. And that's it. So that's my, that's what I do. Now I'm gonna take down my hair and um, pick out my outfit and I will see you back and let you see my final look. Okay guys, this is the finished look. Tell me what you think. So I've got my hair done and I've got my jewelry on and I am ready to go to worship. So this is my finished look. Tell me what you think. Thanks for watching.